Have you ever wondered what would be the world without science? Have you ever wondered what would happen to your country without it? Put on your seatbelts, for we are about to travel all the way to Africa to unfold the mysteries behind its development in science. Hi, I am Giselle B. Carillo, and I am your tour guide number one for today's trip. No idea about Africa? No worries. Student 2 is here to give you info you need to know. Good day. I'm Michelle Tampos, your tour guide number 2. Want to know about Africa? Well, Africa is a bright continent with adequate material resources for potential autocentric development. But after decades of independence, Africa remains the least developed continent in the world. However, Africa is the world's second largest and second most populous continent after Asia in both cases. At about 30.3 million square meter including adjacent islands, it covers 6% of Earth's total surface area and 20% of its land area, with 1.3 billion people as of 2018. It accounts for about 16% of the world's human population. Do you know where Africa is? Africa is located south of Europe and Asia. The continent is located in all four hemispheres. The equator runs almost directly through the middle of Africa, which means that it is both in the southern and northern hemispheres. And although most of this continent is located in the eastern hemisphere, a small portion of it is located in the western hemisphere. And also, do you know that almost half of the gold ever mined on Earth has came from a single place called Vetveter's Land? And yes, it is located in South Africa. Fascinating, right? Want to know more about their history? Her is student 3 to talk about the things Africa is known for. Did you know that Africa's rich history and culture are so diverse that it varies not only from one country to another, but also within regions and countries? Correct, the culture of each ethnic group holds together the authentic social fabric of traditional practices and rites, art, music, and oral literature through which identities are built. Africa is blessed with natural and mineral resources. Science emerged in this part of the planet long before Europeans colonized it. Africa has the world's oldest record of human technological achievements. Way to go, traveler! Now, we will discuss to you the history of science and technology in Africa. The world's oldest record of human technological achievements in Africa is the oldest stone tools in the world. It is an evidence for tool production by our hominin ancestors. What is hominin? Hominin is a form of the sonomic tribe of the subfamily of Homininine. This received relatively little attention compared to the other regions of the world, despite notable African development in mathematics, metallurgy, architecture, and other fields, and an identified hominin, homo habilis, homo erectus, homo sapiens are the earliest tools. Development of scientific ideas and technology in Africa in math, surely only a few of us know that many modern high school level concepts in mathematics were first developed in Africa. As the history of mathematics has its roots on the African continent, and according to archaeological evidence, African people were the first people in the world to use counting to keep track of their things or time. Around 35,000 BC, they used Libombo stone as the first method of counting. More than 35,000 years ago, it is found that Egyptians created scripted textbooks about math that included division and multiplication of fractions and geometric formulas to calculate the area and volume of shapes. Distances, angles, and algebraic equations were solved and calculated mathematically as well. Ancient Egyptians are also good in the four fundamental mathematical operations and other mathematical skills. They have knowledge of the basic concepts of algebra and geometry. The Islamic regions in Africa during the medieval period was also benefiting from mathematical learning, which is considered advanced during those times. They learned math such as algebra, geometry, and trigonometry. And lastly, 
According to Paul Gerdes, the development of geometrical thinking started early in African history. In the field of astronomy, several ancient African cultures brought their discoveries. Many of these are foundation on which we still rely, and some were so advanced that their mode of discovery still cannot be understood. Egyptians charted the movement of the sun and constellations and the cycles of the moon. They divided the year into 12 parts and developed a year-long calendar system containing 365 and one-fourth days. Clocks were made with moving water and sundial-like clocks were used. In metallurgian tools, many advances in making were made across the entirety of ancient Africa. These include steam engines, metal chisels, and saws, copper and iron tools and weapons, nails, glue, carbon steel, and bronze and weapons and art. They invented metal tools used in their homes in agriculture and in building their magnificent architectures and distinguished from craft of metal works. In the field of medicine, many treatments we use today were employed by several ancient peoples throughout Africa. Before the European invasion of Africa, medicine in what is now Egypt, Nigeria, and South Africa. To name just a few places was more advanced than medicine in Europe. Did you know that ancient Egyptians is some of the oldest documented in terms of medicine? Egyptian's medieval practice went largely unchanged but has highly advanced for its time including non-invasive surgery, setting of bones, dentistry, and extensive set of pharmacopoeia. Now, let's talk about Africa's architecture and engineering. Did you know that various fast African societies created sophisticated built environments? Of course. There are the engineering feats of the Egyptians, the waffling lay raised obelisk and the more than 80 pyramids. The largest of the pyramids covers 13 acres and is made of 2.25 million blocks of stone. Later, in the 12th century and much farther south, there were hundreds of great cities in Zimbabwe and Mozambique. The walls of Benin City are collectively in the world's largest man-made structure and were semi-destroyed by the British in 1897. Most of us learned that Europeans were the first to sail on the Americas. In the field of navigation, several lines of evidence suggest that ancient Africans sailed in South Africa and Asia hundreds of years before Europeans. Thousands of miles of waterways across Africa were trade roads. In the agriculture side, crude sticks were probably the first tillage tools used to establish crops by planting the vegetative parts of plants, including stem sections, roots, and tubers. Did you know that in Africa, they built irrigation system, dams, and plant propagation? Tropical soils are typically low in organic matter and so present special problems to agriculturalists. Tropical areas don't have winter season, so microorganisms continue to break down organic matter throughout the year. And that's all you need to know about the history of science and technology in Africa. Now, let's proceed to when this all started. Hi, I am Celso Emparto Jr. And I am about to discuss to you when did science start developing in Africa. The teaching of modern science in Africa began when Western education was introduced into the continent during the last half of the 19th century. Science teaching in the primary school at that time consisted mainly of natural study, hygiene, and agriculture. At the secondary school level, physics, chemistry, biology, general science, agricultural science, and health science were taught. For the next century or so, science was taught as a dogma rather than a systematic inquiry. And that's all you need to know about the development of science in Africa. With all of these achievements, 
What do you think will happen to Africa if they continue developing? Will it be a good fortune or a distraction? Here is student seeks to talk about the impacts of science in Africa. Despite the negative impact of technology on environment, a recent rise in global concerns for climate change has led to the development of new environmental technology, aiming to help solve some of the biggest environmental concerns that we face as a society through a shift towards a more sustainable low-carbon economy. Environmental technology is also known as green or clean technology and refers to the development of new technologies which aim to conserve, monitor, or reduce the negative impact of technology on the environment and the consumption of resources. The benefits of science, technology, and innovation can be marshaled for greater economic, social, and environmental sustainability both on the continent and beyond. And travelers? That's all for Africa. I hope you like your learning experience. Until the next time!